What's good, YouTube? And I'm back again with another video. Like I said in one of my previous videos, or well, my previous video after this one, I was gonna do a top speed for you guys. Got a long strip of road right here. Like I do all my top speeds on, I'm gonna do a top speed for you guys. Uh, the loading video might come a little later, but if you guys know now or not know that it's your first time on the channel, make sure you do, do this first, make sure you subscribe down below and leave a like on the video. But most of you guys probably know there's a hole down there. It's real deep. But it, you can see the water running. It just got down a good rain down this way. While I was on the way down here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit that hole for you on these little 26s. Probably go swamp it today. Probably not, because this thing has a weird problem with idling on the water. I believe it has something to do with the spark plug. Water was in the spark plug. The spark plug that I got electric grease, the spark plug and everything. So it should be good. And the belt box is sealed, so no water should get in there. But I know I'm having a hard time in that hole because that hole is nothing but thick mud at the bottom. But yeah, you got me get you a top speed today and hit a little, that little mud hole down there. And I'm going to have a good time today. Unfortunately, I got some good news and I got some bad news. i tell you bad news first. I forgot my GoPro. I don't know how I forgot it. I guess I forgot to put it in my truck, but I forgot my GoPro, so I won't be able to, uh, you guys won't be able to physically see the top speed on it. But I'm going to try my best to, uh, use an app, screen record the app or something like that, and get the top speed for you guys. But, yeah, I'm going to just, uh, probably just take a picture of the app that I'm going to use to try to get a top speed on it. Post the picture in there and hopefully you guys believe me. And the good news is I got somebody to record me while I'm doing passes down the road. And I got somebody to record me when I'm going to hold because I ain't got my GoPro for that neither. So yeah. Hopefully you guys still enjoy this video. And let me put my waiters on and I'll get the picture up for you guys. We're going through the top speed and post the picture up. And we'll come after this part of the video. And you're gonna see a couple flybys on it small tires on it and we're going through the mud hole so hope you guys enjoy the video let's get to it Yeah, 
you guys should have seen just look on the book I built very bad. Then you start hearing rev limit like mum, 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 mum. you start hearing rev limit. But you guys seen when I was coming by doing uh bypasses, I was hitting rev limit. Yeah, I was hitting rev limit when I was doing bypass. You heard it, it was topped out around 80 85. So that's pretty good for a mud specific four wheeler on 26. They run by 70, 65, 70 with my assassinators on it, and it topped out around by 80 85 with these 26 on it. So they start hitting rev limit. But yeah, you guys. I'm gonna it off this video. Uh, I had a little fun today, I cannot lie. I had a little fun. Uh, but I'm gonna get some more better mud flips. You guys know the little trail we have up uh, in the other part, what we'll be riding it. I got some more mud holes I want to hit, those deep mud holes. And yeah, I'm gonna make a video on those. Uh, it should come soon. Yeah, you guys, they're gonna cap it off. I think the, the app wasn't working properly because you know how those little rinky thing apps do when you uh, do the ride. They, they're not accurate at all. And they, the app said I was running 50. And you, you, even you guys know I don't run 50 because I ran 70 something with the 33 when I had my GoPro. So I got up to 80, 85, hit rev limiter. Uh, gonna do a video of the mud ride. That was just a good test to see how it do. He tried to do pretty good. I cannot drive in there for but like I said my belt 